Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to start the new series when we will go deep dive of covering a quick.cloud. So what is quick.cloud? Uh, quick.cloud is a service that is built in into the Lightspeed ecosystem and it plays a crucial role within the Lightspeed plugin and uh, page optimizations. In short, uh, quick.cloud is a first and the only complete WordPress optimization solution. You can set up complete uh, static and dynamic of caching and also you can optimize images, critical CSS, unique CSS or even low quality image placeholders on the cloud level. As we scroll down and to read about the caching, as I mentioned, you can completely cache static assets and dynamic requests from the WooCommerce sites or any other dynamic sites that you are using. The main advantages of uh, that dynamic caching is that you, you can use it automatically when you have Lightspeed server. Otherwise, in normal situation, you will have to have a Cloudflare enterprise where you can set up different rules for a dynamic uh, caching. But Cloudflare Enterprise is pretty pricey and it starts at $2,000 every month. And with a quick CDN or a quick.cloud services, you can have it for free. So, quick.cloud is, split, is split in two ways. First service that you can use is a CDN service, but another part of the quick.cloud are the services itself, like page optimization, image optimizations, or those low quality image placeholders. So in this first part, we will be checking the dashboard of the quick cloud. We will check uh, other things that you might find useful to know at the beginning. And also we will set up our WordPress site and set up automatic image optimization. So first, uh, let's check who is behind the quick.cloud team. Uh, quick.cloud was founded in 2019 by George Wang and the, and the team behind the Lightspeed Technologies. So it is the team that make Lightspeed Enterprise, Open Lightspeed and yeah, they needed to build something that can go really well with the Lightspeed ecosystem. So they found a quick.cloud. What about the cost? As I mentioned, the quick.cloud is split in uh, two ways. First, you have the CDN pricing and then you get the online service pricing. For the CDN pricing, you can use the free plan. You get unlimited free bandwidth but you are limited only to six CDN nodes in the United States and Europe. You will get only access to the basic security and you will see only recent traffic analytics for 24 hours. But with the standard plan, you will, you will get access to all CDN nodes around the world. You will get advanced security protections like DDoS, WordPress brute force login, XML RPC browser blocking and a CDN level recapture. The CDN level recapture is really great because it will not slow down your website. Also, we will get the full traffic management capability and uh, you will get full year of traffic analytics. As you can see, the bandwidth cost by the region is uh, split. For the North America and the Europe regions, one gigabyte will cost you 10 credits and 10 credits are equivalent to 0 0.01 cents. And as you choose a different region that I will show you later, Latin America, Asia, Oceania, Middle East and Africa are costing 40 credits per gigabyte on your CDN level. Another great thing is that if you have open light speed or a light speed enterprise, you will get free monthly credits for CDN and online services. So for Open Lightspeed Server, you will get 50 credits. For Lightspeed Enterprise, you will get 100 credits. And if you are using some quick.cloud hosting partner, you will get 200 credits. 
Now we can go check the pricing for the online services. And the same goes here also. For Open Lightspeed Server, you will get 5,000 images every month. You will get 1,000 page optimization requests and 500 image placeholders requests. And the quota go up as you upgrade to Lightspeed Enterprise or select Quick.Cloud Hosting Partner. What's another great feature? It's not like a feature, but I didn't see any release log, for example, for Cloudflare or Bunny CDN or any other CDN providers that you can see the release log and you can check what they are fixing, what are their issues and everything else. And this is really cool. I like to see that. And the most crucial part within the Lightspeed ecosystem is the support. You will get free access to support via their Slack channel. You can ask questions or you can make like a topic that you have some issues and the team will gladly help you with everything. As you can see, their <coughs> quick duck cloud CDN channel is pretty active. You can get the support with the open light speed ecosystem, also with the light speed enterprise ecosystem and yeah. Just don't afraid to ask if you run into some issues with their CDN, online services or even with the web server. So now let's go check our dashboard. And we select the WooCommerce site that I'm running on the quick.cloud. And uh, when we check the CDN, this is your main CDN uh, usage overview, where you can check how many credits you have. And also we can check your pay as you go balance if you decide to purchase credits. And here you can see the CDN plans. In the free, you don't get access to choose which you want to use. You don't get the DDoS protection, but you, you, you will get unlimited traffic. And for the standard plan, you will get access to everything. And also you can change the region if you would like to. So. So basically, this is the European side. It is GDPR protected. And uh, I only whitelisted the European servers that can serve the website assets or dynamic request. So if there are no issues regarding the GDPR, as this will not break any GDPR law. And next we can check the CDN analytics, which are really cool. And you can filter by daily, monthly, hourly. Also, you can filter by months, dates and by the data centers. As you can see, we are not just watching the last seven days analytics. And uh, when we check the CDNO's breakdown, everything was served from a European servers. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to worry about GDPR or anything. Another cool feature is the request analytics where you can see your static cache hit and the dynamic cache hit. And you can filter it however you want and it is pretty straightforward and simple to navigate. Also you will get to see HTTP analytics where you can check your response causes uh, response codes and basically you will get security analytics how many anti ddos recapture was invoked for the last seven days this is really good to see how many bots or bad actors was blocked on the cdn level so they don't get direct access to a website and the last thing you can definitely use quick.cloud online services with your website being served in uh, Cloudflare. And uh, I will show you how you can set up the quid.cloud integration. And uh, for the CDN, if you want to use a quid.cloud CDN, you cannot use uh, Cloudflare. You will have to set up your own CNAME records. And of that I will cover in the next episode. So for now, let's go to our WordPress site and set up the quick.cloud integration. So first you will need to go to the Lightspeed cache and in the general tab. 
Here you will need to re request the domain key. You press the button and usually after one minute you will have your domain key and then you can link it to your quick.cloud. So now when we have our domain key here, all we need to do is to link the website to the quick.cloud. We click the button and we will be redirected to the quick.cloud. If you don't have account, you will be presented by the screen when you enter your email address and then you will receive verification email and then you can proceed with the verification. So in this case, uh, this is not the account I want to use for this. So I will click continue. I will select my training account, my password and the website is already in our account. So we can go check the dashboard. As you can see, we added the website and CDN is uh, disabled by default, but you can use image optimization, a page optimization or low quality image placeholders. In this case, I'm always uh, set up the image optimization and the uh, integration with the quick.cloud every time I deploy new WordPress or I migrate from other web servers. So you can cut off the any optimization plugins, image optimization plugins. So at the end, you will save money and you will have less plugins to worry about. So for the image optimization, I upload, already uploaded an image, stock image. And uh, when you want to set up the image optimization, you will need to go to image optimization settings. You want to enable auto request cron. That means every time you upload image, it will notify the online services that image is ready for optimization. If you're running like a photography site or you don't want your images to lose on quality, you want to enable optimize lossly. And also I like to disable XMP data, set on image web replacement and also a web fee for extra sources and click save. Now when we go to image optimization summary, we can uh, basically our image was already added, but we can rescan for new thumbnails and uh, we can basically, what can we do now? I need to refresh my page. We can destroy because I resetted the settings. So now we have new settings. So what you want to do, you want to gather image data or send optimization requests like here. And after a couple minutes, your images will be back in optimized state. But there is one uh, thing that I want to talk about regarding the image optimization. First, when you set up the image optimization, you will be throttled only to one image at a time. And that is because to make sure our server can communicate with your server. So it will set up like secret tunnel and it will check if there are issues or if it's working without any issues. Then you will be able to request 200 images at once. So after a couple of minutes, your images will be optimized and uh, we can also go get uh, check our dashboard. And you can see the statistics for the image optimization in your quick.cloud account under your domain. When you go to image optimization, you will see that your images are already optimized and they are ready to go. So last thing I uh, forget to mention is the credits that uh, you can buy additional credits if you run out of your monthly free quotas that, that you get with your server. So for example, 5,000 credits cost only five US dollars and 5,000 credits is uh, 500 gigabytes of data. But you can use the, uh, those credits for online services like image optimization, page optimization and other things. So if you run out of quota, you can buy credits and uh, you can subscribe to to monthly subscription or also you can top up via pay as you go. So you, you can have your credits lasting for years if you don't use them.
and uh, to me this is the best way how you can uh, support uh, quick uh, quick that cloud because they running uh, they are like uh, community focused and uh, you can even donate some servers that you don't need for this project so i really hope you like this video and uh, in the next video we will set up cdn we will cover the C cdn features advanced protection features that you can use on the cdn level so stay tuned for the next week video and take care